Hello there, and welcome to another Doctor Who big finish video yesterday. As you can tell, I'm reviewing a fourth Doctor story. I think the scarf gave it away. Um, yes, I'll be reviewing a Shadow of the Sun, which is quite a quite a strange release and has been quite hyped up because this was recorded during lockdown and it's been released as Big Finish posted the photo back in March of them recording this story and here we are in May with it being released and it is a nice little treat to have more Fourth Doctor because you can't really say no to more Fourth Doctor can you? Now a lot of people have been wondering about the sound quality because obviously Big Finish not using the you know recording studios what they normally use you know people wondering will it sound any different to the normal Big Finish release and I have to say that the sound quality and production values are still exactly the same. You know, you wouldn't know that it was recorded any differently to any other Big Finish story. It sounds exactly uh, the same, to be honest. It still has that same uh, high production values, what you expect from Big Finish. Now, this review is going to be slightly different from my normal Big Finish reviews because obviously Big Finish aren't sending CDs out, so I'm not going to be able to show you the, the actual CD itself. Gone for a digital release first, and then the CDs will follow um, once the warehouse is open. You know, Big Finish will still fulfill um, the CD orders, you've just got to wait a little bit longer for the CD. So this review is going to be a little bit different, you know, we're not going to look at inside the CD because I don't have the CD, but I'll look at the cover and then we'll go into my thought on this story. So taking a look at the cover art, now I have to say that the cover may look very simplistic, but it tells you exactly what this story is about. We've got the fourth Doctor, Leela K9, with the nice sun in the background there, with the ship heading towards it with a nice sort of asteroid. Um, look to it with K9 on in sort of the ventilation shaft. It's just a really nice simple cover with a Doc 2 logo there, Shadow of the Sun by Big Finish. So yeah, the cover, I really like it. It's simple and it's very effective. Shadow of the Sun was originally intended to be part of Series 13 of the 4th Doctor Adventures, with Big Finish deciding to release it early as a treat. And who can say no to more 4th Doctor Leela and K9? And I have to say that this story feels straight out of the 4th Doctor era, from the music having that Dudley Simpson feel to it, so what of the story itself? Does it have that 70s feel? Well, it does indeed, um, with it feeling like a bit like the Robot of Death meets a Voyage of a Dam, with the disaster movie feel, with the story being similar to the Transcendence of Ephros. So what do you think of the actual story? Well, I have to say that it was a good, solid, traditional Doctor Who story. Part 1. So this story starts off fairly creepy, um, as Professor Knightley has discovered something, saying everyone is going to die where he meets his demise. So we have a good old murder mystery story making it have that robot of death feel with the Doctor, Leela and K9 arriving after the Doctor piloted uh, the TARDIS through a temporal nebula causing the TARDIS to be damaged and left to repair itself. What makes quite a nice change is we don't see the TARDIS crash but the Doctor and Leela just, the, the Doctor, Leela and K9 just arrive um, you know despite crashing so I think that's quite a nice way of just cutting straight to the action within the actual story. Um, as they arrive on this gold starliner and explore um, which continues the robot of death feel because the robot of death has very sort of luxury sets doesn't it and this definitely has that luxury feel to it with the with the set design you can just imagine it being all this luxurious sort of space liner um, with the doctor wanting to teach leela how her ancestors live and what better place to crash on a luxury cruise ship what is automated and managed by the autopilot now what i find lovely is that the doctor leela and k9 have time to wander around and not only will Bill, but we get some wonderful character moments between them, with them showing the great chemistry between each character. So the Doctor teaches the art of mingling um, to Leela at this party, as we find out where the ship is going, with people being part of this society, and we learn of their beliefs. And what is Heliotopia, what they speak of, as we learn that the ship is on a direct collision course to the sun. Uh, so the Doctor tries to ring the alarm bells and nobody cares, or is panicking. Um, about it with the Doctor confronting the society leader Zorn who is a fanatical and determined to prove his theory all building up to a tense traditional cliffhanger with Leela and K9 in danger. Part 2 so we have a very interesting resolution to the cliffhanger as things really start heating up quite literally as we're heading towards the sun and the temperature is rising and this part is where the action really kicks in as there is a great sense of urgency the mystery keeps being added you know who's talking to the autopilot and giving him command that's all revealed and we have some interesting revelations you know the danger levels keep rising as Leela and K9 are on a rescue mission you know the doctor um his genius plan to escape isn't quite as genius as he thought but the final 15 minutes are incredibly tense and I think this part really creates great imagery within your head as you can picture sort of the ship heading towards the sun um, you know, especially the cover definitely helps enhance that sort of vision for you in your head. But the final five minutes are just dark and bleak with what happens to certain people within the story. And it genuinely stuns the Doctor and Leela, leaving them to be quite shook by uh, the events what happened within the actual story. 
um, with Doctor and Leela having a speech on humans, with Leela telling, you know, what she found out about her ancestors, which leads to quite a touching moment after, you know, the Doctor and Leela being quite sort of shaken by events what happens within this story. So moving on to characters now with the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. Yes, another brilliant performance as we see a great range from his fun side of him being, you know, in awe of this ship and how luxurious it is um, with him. You know, you can just sense the big smile just radiating, um, you know, through the sound waves. It's just marvellous. Um, you know, just the absolute delight. You know, he's excited to explore the ship with some great witty dialogue as you expect from the fourth Doctor. Especially when he's talking about flying the TARDIS. Um, to his more aggressive side when he finds out what's happening with us, seeing him being quite commanding and authoritative, to being genuinely shocked by events will happen with the actual story, with him questioning did he do enough to save people. Leela, played by Louise Jameson, does a wonderful job as we have her tribal instincts with her sort of sensing danger and her being very cautious and her getting some great action moments, you know, asking questions and her learning more about um, her sort of ancestors, you know, and we continue uh, the Doctor sort of being the teacher sort of relationship between those two characters with her joking about the Doctor uh, with her joking about the Doctor and her being quite grumpy and sort of wary of computers. Moving on to K-9 uh, played by John Leeson does a good job as we see him play another character within this Professor Nicely um, albeit for literally two minutes and he does a good job in that um, but K-9 does, does have some nice moments with Leela as sort of K-9 is very much Leela's sort of companion within this uh, him being you know quite logical and qu has some quite smarmy funny lines um you know some quite jokes and there's some jokes about how you know fast k9 is it's it's very much you know and k9 very much acts as a computer giving us exposition about sort of the time period this story is set within and i think john leeson does a brilliant job um with the material what he's given within it zorn played by peter hesberg um what a villainous name that is what a great villain name that is zorn um, we, I think that Peter Hesburgh does a brilliant job because he has this great rich voice which just really fits all this leader of the Helios Society and the founder of it. He is, you know, quite charming but becomes more deranged as the story goes on but keeps this very steely cool feel to him and I think that he does a brilliant job. Uh, moving on to the autopilot played by um, Barnaby Edwards. Brilliantly played and obviously Barnaby Edwards plays another role within this story. Autopilot is quite eerily happy and charmingly camp i think that's the best way to describe it and obviously that just fits doctor Who perfectly and is a great addition to the actual story itself so what are my concluding thoughts on shadow of the sun so overall it is a good solid story what has sharp dialogue with some great funny moments playing on traditional classic doctor Who from the line of leela going is this where i ask a question to canine going insufficient data so this story is scattered with those funny moments um, but it does have its dark moments, especially in part two. Um, there's quite some grim moments within part two, actually. It just feels wonderfully authentic to the era of the slight robots of death feel, really enhances that. Um, the idea of Heliotopia is an interesting one, and the cast are just on fine form from the menacingly camp autopilot to the witty fourth doc. This story just packs some great mystery, what fills the runtime perfectly. This is a good, solid Doctor adventure. I think that it is a great addition to the fourth Doctor Adventures um, line. Um, I think that it is a really good solid story. I feel like it's not a story what is sort of groundbreaking, but, uh, it, you know, it's not one of the groundbreaking story. you know, it's not a story where you'll listen to it and think, oh my god, this is, this is groundbreaking stuff. It is just a good, solid slice of classic Doctor Who. It is just brilliant. So I'm going to give Shadow of the Sun a well-deserved 8 out of 10. I think that it is a great little addition, and it's just a fun way to pass an hour, really. It is a really nice little story, and is a great little treat, and, you know, I think that this is a really good story for the fourth Doctor. Um, it's got some very interesting ideas and the whole mystery feel to it is great. Uh, it's just brilliant. I love it. I think that it is a really good story. So thank you very much for watching this review. I hope you have enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time, whatever that will be. So thank you very much for watching this review and I'll see you next time. So thank you very much and goodbye.